Today on MTG Unpacked, we're opening another Ravnica Allegiance pre-release pack. And today it is Azorius. So those are the colors blue and white. And with me, I have Jason Elspeth to do the pack blessing duties. If you're not familiar, we bless the packs to get extra value. And at some point in this video, there will be a code for MTG Arena that will unlock entry into a draft event. So whoever is the first luckiest to get on that code will get the code. All right, so let's grab this here. Carefully remove this stuff. Don't want to spoil things too early. Okay, like so. Um, yeah. Oh, I like the dice. Look at that white and blue. 15. Nope. I got a 6. Alright, put that over there. We'll lay out the packs for the blessings. So we got 5 packs and 1 seeded pack here. So we'll have Jace, followed by Elspeth. There we go. Fingers crossed that gets us some good luck today. And let's do something like this. You probably saw what that was, but we'll take a closer look at that later. So, a bit about building a pre release deck. Two colors, 40 cards, 15, 18 creatures, 5 to 8 other spells, there's your mana curve, and 17 lands. You know the drill. We are the Azorius Senate. With a whole lot of legalese sanding stuff. Whereas order is the foundation of civilization, and whereas, okay. So they are clearly the legal eagles of the magic world. Let's get cracking here. And probably literally legal eagles. A lot of flying creatures tend to be blue or white. So I expect to see a lot here. We have a 10th district veteran. That could be a good include there. Rubble Belt Runner. Thought Collapse. Counter target spell, we'd probably put that one in. Raptos Rastabout. That one not so much unless we want to splash in some, well, more than splash in some red and black. Soraform Hybrid. Just this year's Portal. Burning Tree Vandal. Watchful Giant. Imperious Oligarch. Borak Clan Crusher is first the uncommon, so let's rearrange things a little. Eyes everywhere! Yes, we would probably put that in. That seems like a fun card. Orzov Enforcer. And the rare is Electro Dominance. We pulled this one the other day too. Instant for X and two mountains. It deals X damage to any target. You may cast the card with convert mana cost X or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. That seems pretty decent. So maybe we'd be splashing some red in. And a foil deface. Choose one, destroy target artifact, or destroy target creature with defender. Okay, for a single mountain, Simic Gilgate, and a spirit token. Alrighty, oh, nearly exposed the code there. Let's, let's whisk that away somewhere safer. Okay, next pack here. Got to come up with new and inventive ways of uh, revealing the code. I think the past few have been far too easy. Next pack we have a gravel hide goblin, goblin shaman. Okay. Coral commando. And in case you haven't noticed, I do like the goblins. Knight of Sorrows. Noxious Grudian with death touch. Sagittar's volley. Maybe we'd want to splash black for that uh, guy. Gateway Plaza. Applied Biomancy. Scuttle Gator. Wrecking Beast. Skitter Eel. So those three have come up quite a bit lately. And the uncommons. We have a Troll Bread Guardian. Troll Frog Warrior. Terramander. Probably include him because he has flying. Rumbling Ruin, and rare is Ethereal Absolution. So this is an enchantment for six creatures you control get plus one plus one. Creatures your opponents control get minus one minus one. Okay, so maybe that splashing black would be tempting after all. Pay two and a planes and a swamp exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. 
If it was a creature card, you create a 1-1 one, one white and black spirit creature token with flying. Okay. Seems decent. And a Zorius Guildgate and a Thopter token. Alright, moving right along here. What do we have next? We have a Civic Stalwart, Elephant Soldier. Alright. Storm Strike. Humongulous. Prowling Caracal, okay, a lot of options for this deck then. Plague White, Sylvan Brushstrider, Aeromunculus, Ceruli Caretaker, Summary Judgment, Goblin Gathering, yes! We need a few more of those, I would think, to make that worthwhile. And for the Uncommons, we have a Hackrobat, Fireblade Artist, Collision and Colossus. And the rare is a split card, Revival and Revenge. So Revival is a sorcery for two. Return target creature card with Converted Mana Cost 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Revenge is a sorcery for six. Double your life total. Target opponent loses half their life rounded up. So if we're splashing black, actually you can do white here as well. So that one is probably an option. Gruel, Gilgate, and a Frog Lizard token. Alright, I can't stand it anymore. What do we get? Hero of Precinct 1. Let's crack this open. This is our special seeded pack. So, seeded for Azorius. Okay, nice foiling here. Ooh, look at that. Hero of Precinct 1. Creature Human Warrior 2-2 two, two for 2 mana. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, create a one on white human creature token. Alright, that looks pretty good. An Azorius Locket. Okay, we'd probably want to put one of those in. Screaming Shield, Uncommon Senate Guild Mage. Archway Angel, so nice, got a flyer there. Persistent Petitioners. Summary Judgment. Thought Collapse, Civic Stalwart, Sphinx's Insight, Senate Griffin, Humongulus, Concordia Pegasus, Slimebind, and an Azoria Skillgate. Alright, so right now I'm going to reveal half of the code. There we go. So there is half of the code. Stay tuned for the rest. Pop that over here. Open another pack. What do we have? A hey, Concordia Pegasus. Okay, so he would be an auto include, I would think. Spear Spewer Goblin Warrior. Prying Eyes. Sagittar's Volley, Carrion Imp, Steeple Creeper, Rubble Reading, Chillbringer, Catacomb Crocodile, Get the Point, and for the Uncommons here we have Rally to Battle, Basilica Bellhaunt, Blood Mist Infiltrator, and rare is a Lavinia Azorius Renegade. Nice, that would fit right in. Legendary Creature Human Soldier 2 2 for 2 mana. Each opponent can't cast non creature spells with a converted mana cost greater than the number of lands that player controls. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast it, counter that spell. Alright, seems decent. And an Azorius Gilgate. And a Goblin Token. Okay. Last pack here. Man, I'm, my pack opening skills are deteriorating. Okay, what do we have? A Rubble Slinger in the Gruel colours. Quench. That would be a good one to put in. Plague White. Sylvan Brush Strider. Noxious Grudian. Burn Bright. Azorius Knight Arbiter, Titanic Brawl. 
exposed to daylight, grotesque demise, and <laughs> this guy's hilarious, galloping lizrog frog lizard, one of the uncommons, gruel beastmaster, flames of the raised boar, and the rare is plaza of harmony. So this is a land when it enters the battlefield. If you control two or more gates, you gain three life. You can tap it for colorless mana or tap it for one mana of any type that a gate you control could produce. And a Gruel Guild Gate and a Spirit Token. Okay, so let's have a quick review here. We've got a couple of foils. We have a Deface and a Hero of Precinct 1. And then if we look at the rares, we have the Plaza of Harmony, Lavinia Azurius Renegade, Revival and Revenge, Ethereal Absolution, and Electro Dominance. So the question is, would we be splashing another color? Maybe red, maybe black, or maybe even green, I'm not sure. So let's dig through. Blood Message Trader, Bazooka Bill Haunt, Rally to Battle, that would be a good one. Archway Angel, Senate Guild Mage, Screaming Shield, Collision, Fireblade Artist. You'd have to go for an extra two colors, that might be a stretch. Rumbling Ruin, Terramander. Okay, not really seeing anything. Maybe if we look at the commons here. Grotesque Demise, I think there were a couple, yeah, Noxious Grudian Death Touch creatures, those would be good. Catacomb Croc. And let's see, Spear Spewer, so we've got a Goblin. Lots of Flyers, that's always good. Elephant Soldiers, Thought Collapse, Persistent Petitioners. Goblin Gathering is probably not that useful, I think you normally need three of those. To be somewhat useful. Noxious Grudian, so yeah, maybe get some black there or red. That red um, Electro Dominance would be a nice choice. Okay, so yeah, I would probably go with straight Azorius here, or maybe it depends how many cards we have, what they can do. Maybe splashing in some red or black. Alright, so let me know in the comments what you would do. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.